quests are back in Battleground and that means two things. First, there will be more creatures with two types. Secondly, the meta will evolve depending of your quest. So adapt your build to it or you will be surprised. The creature that got the most boosted is the Demon Dragon. There are no free spells that allow him to hit a full board, plus the Murlocs that are placed next to him. I won't talk much about Murlocs by the way because they got nerfed just today. Their best spell got removed and yeah that's a good thing because it was completely awful. They also added this new creature half pig half demon, I'm joking, uh, like half Uren half demon, which eat a creature from the tavern every two spells that you use so it is insane in Naga decks, Demon decks and of course Urine decks. Or any menagerie as long as you use spells. Let's talk now about this guy who is half demon half mecha because he is the new way to get resurrection for boss types and also because it's really OP as long as he gets some respawn. Every time you lose four creatures he will give you a magnetism mecha demon in your hand. Two if he is golded. And here's a funny trick I found with it. See, this quest gives you Divine Shield a plus 8 uh, 8 on uh, the creature on the, mo the most on the left of your hand. So I kept a Magnetism Mecha Demon over there, and this way I could give Divine Shield to any demon. Was that enough to win the game? Easily. But will it be enough for you to subscribe? In any case, I have more tricks to share. Let's go! This advice might seem a bit basic, but don't give up. Never give up. Like, this guy could have won this game in the end. Also, never underestimate menagerie builds. They can be insanely strong and they got crazily boosted in this last update. Some of the combos might seem a bit strange at first, but it's possible to make it work, especially if the quest uh, fits with it. Here's a small trick to remove Dive and Shield while adding some rip -up taunt to get back my own Dive and Shield on my run on the left. It surprised my opponent and got me control and victory on this game. Easy. Another general thing but don't forget what boost what kind of deck. Because end of turn boost mainly the Huron and the Mechas. In endgame the, it can boost also Murlocs and Nagas and uh, one undead. But it's yeah. It's to keep in mind. All the respawn quests, uh, are like here, yeah, it's for beast and undead mainly. It can be for mechas too, for some of them. The divine shield quest should never be used in a in a beast game because all your uh, boosts are gonna go on the same horse, and yeah, it's gonna be like kind of useless at some point. War cries are mainly for dragons, murlocs, elems, and demons, but mainly murlocs and dragons. So yeah, if you make your build according to that, uh, it will be powerful. I wish you guys the best on this quest meta and uh, more tips videos are in production, so see you on YouTube or on the battlegrounds. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!